Good Sunday evening, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with a much quieter Sunday evening than what we saw yesterday with nearly a decent amount of thunderstorms coming through that were on the severe side. Nothing like that going on, but we do need to watch out again for the possibility of more thunderstorms like that, possibly coming up by the time we head into and around Thursday or so. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. If you got anything in the way of weather reports from around the Mid-South area, definitely want to see again more about what's going on out there with you, so stick around for more on that coming up here uh, in just a little bit. Currently in the Mid-South, again, it's decently quiet, and hopefully it stays that way again throughout the rest of the evening. We do have the potential of maybe some more areas of frost across the Mid-South as we go into later on tonight. Now, it doesn't look like anything really huge, but again, we're going to be watching that uh, with a lot of interest. Todd Demers will have a lot more on his forecast that will be starting bright and early tomorrow morning on News Channel 3 Daybreak, so definitely want to stay tuned for that. And of course, we'll have more throughout the rest of the week on that potential for severe weather, so stay tuned for more on that. And again, we'll keep you updated on that the further we go throughout the rest of the week. Currently, again, for the overnight hours, should be looking at mostly clear skies kind of brisk out there and again there's going to be that potential of some patchy frost across the mid-south as we get into very early tomorrow morning that's also again going to be about the worst of the worst we see out there uh, either way if the kids are going to be outdoors heading for the school bus tomorrow morning you're going to have the possibility of some pretty chilly conditions out there uh, welcome to everybody who's tuning in for this evening and again drop your location and your weather reports if you got them into the comments section and we'd love to see more about what you've got out there trey harris 40 Six and mostly cloudy in Gleason, Tennessee, Pope, Mississippi. Jeffrey Griffiths, thank you very much for that one. Uh, 49 degrees and cloudy. Thank you very much for checking in uh, from across the Mid-South area for tonight. If you can't stick around for the whole netcast, that's cool. Again, bit of a forecast here. Also scrolling by in the blue bar at the bottom of your screen or go to WREG.com slash weather for the complete forecast update. It's all available there for you for right now. Rest of the evening, again, not too much to see out there. It was decently quiet. Hang on just one second. Got too far away from my almanac for a moment. 10 degrees below normal for our temperature for this afternoon. And that was officially it. Three hundredths of an inch of rain from yesterday into today. So we didn't pick up that much on Sunday, but did manage to pick up quite a lot. We are now six and a half inches over for the month of April, which is typically one of the more medium months when it comes to anything involving precipitation out there and we are now eight inches above normal for anything involving rainfall for the entire year so even if we didn't get any more rain throughout the rest of the year and if we got again just an inch per month or so we would finish up the year pretty much normal at this point almost but again we're going to be looking at some more chances of rain and thunderstorms out there so that we may see again the possibility of some rises in the rivers out there so if you live work or drive through any low-lying areas could be some leftover moisture that could cause some backups and maybe some debris on the roadway too if we get enough flooding going on out there from our transmitter tower camera refurbished by the net the uh, news channel 3 engineers thank you very guys very much for taking care of that beautiful out there for tonight and we've got some great sunset pictures to uh, move along for the area tonight if you've got them please pass them on to us again you can send me more information and your pictures available at my website and also again through my email at austin.onic at wreg.com windy country club in memphis decent view of some fading sunlight out there and the golfers out and about for this evening and looking at some gorgeous conditions for tonight. The Big River Crossing lit up nicely and doing the animated top of the hour display. Looking back toward West Memphis, Arkansas and fading sunlight out there for this evening. We'll have to see if any satellites are available to take a look at for tonight. We'll post that on social media coming up here in just a little while. River is going to be heading back upwards again over the next few days and Big River Crossing, the western edge of the bridge, still closed down because of this very high river level out there. Won't be open for a while. Clearing skies into portions of the Mid-South, getting some drier air coming through. Our latest storm system now making its way up across the Great Lakes and is not going to be that much of a threat for us anymore. 
But here's the problem for us. As the skies clear, those clouds act like a blanket and do a good job of keeping the temperatures up a little bit down toward the surface. Remove those clouds, and it's like yanking the blanket off at nighttime, and all the heat of the day just goes right on up and radiates away. So we are looking at a pretty chilly evening tonight. Now, the best concentration of anything involving frost is going to be from roughly Dyer County, back down through about Madison County and close to the Tennessee River in Middle Tennessee. These temperatures here will be back in the mid-30s. Rest of the Mid-South looks like it's lower 40s, including the metro area. So, so far, this does not appear to be a widespread killing frost for anybody involving gardening, uh, agriculture, horticulture, anything like that out there. But if you're anywhere in northwest Tennessee, you may want to consider bringing those plants indoors again. Or if you have sensitive plants, that are going to be very chilly tonight, but not exactly frosty. You may want to go ahead and bring those plants in just to be on the safe side there. It's already pretty cool. Temperatures right now back into the uh, mid-40s across much of the area. And we'll continue to see some pretty uh, brisk conditions out there as we go into the uh, rest of the forecast, at least for tonight anyway. Lisa Hinton, 70 degrees tomorrow still, hopefully. Uh, we'll take a look at the extended forecast in a little bit. We've got some warmer temperatures out there that we'll talk about here in just a little while. Overnight, a few clouds by News Channel 3 at 10, mid to upper 40s for the temperatures. Just past midnight, lower to mid 40s out there. And then by early tomorrow morning, briefly into the 30s. And then numbers start to warm up pretty rapidly with that extra sunshine out there so that by lunchtime, Things look very comfortable back into the mid-60s. Winds turn back around out of the southwest, so that's going to help to bump the numbers up. Picking up the kids from school tomorrow, temperatures will be again in the mid to upper 60s and looking pretty mild into tomorrow evening as well. Heading home from work, upper 60s to lower 70s, and mid-evening tomorrow back in the lower to mid-60s, so pretty pleasant out there. And again, best possibility of anything involving frost is going to be mainly across northwest Tennessee for later on tonight. That'll be temperatures in the mid-30s, so rural areas away from cities and towns where the heat signature will be highest, that's where you're going to be seeing the best possibility of frost. Metro area, rest of the Mid-South doesn't look like it, but if you got plants outside you want to protect, go ahead and bring them in or cover them up if you want to, and then some very mild temperatures from here on out. Not seeing a problem at all. Going to be a busy week. Got a lot going on into the next several days, starting with, of course, tax day tomorrow, April 15th. Time to get the 1040s into the mailbox if you haven't already. And at least we won't have anything in the way of win uh, winter weather to worry about or stormy weather, so that's one less thing to worry about. Beautiful day coming up. Temperatures tomorrow looking good back into about the lower 70s. Likewise, very pleasant for Tuesday. So if you have outdoor plans, early part of the week looks pretty good. Mid-70s, just above normal for this time of the year on Tuesday. Wednesday, pushing the mid to upper 70s, so looking very pleasant out across the area for midweek. But by the time we hit dinner time Wednesday, could be some more showers heading back our direction. And then for Monday, Thursday, Good Friday, heading into, again, the rest of Holy Week for those of you celebrating uh, the holidays coming up there. Temperatures back in the mid-70s, but Thursday could see some stronger weather heading our way with numbers back into the mid-70s for highs. Cooler for Good Friday, and the rain showers will head on out of the picture, so we'll get a little bit more sunshine out there. Good news for Easter Sunday. We do get a fair number of churches, congregations calling us here at News Channel 3 Weather to check in with what the weather is going to be doing because of outdoor Easter sunrise services. And good news looks clear for Sunday morning, for Easter Sunday coming up next week. A little bit on the chilly side, though. Temperatures will require a jacket for any outdoor sunrise services starting off Easter Sunday morning. But the rest of the Easter holiday looks good. Temperatures back in the mid to upper 70s, so no major problems uh, into there. Earth Day coming up next Monday and looking good for Earth Day as well. Unfortunately, right after that, still remains warm, but temperatures and, again, should be seeing the possibility of some more showers, maybe some more thunderstorms. It's going to be in here this coming Thursday to where we could see the possibility of maybe some some more severe weather coming on through. There's nothing guaranteed. There's nothing in the forecast right now. There are signs leaning that direction from the Storm Prediction Center, but right now there's no official forecast 
at least just yet. So definitely want to stay tuned to News Channel 3, and we'll keep you advised on that. Either way, some pretty mild temperatures. Again, pretty cool for Good Friday with temperatures going back into the lower 60s and a bit brisk for early Easter Sunday morning, but otherwise not doing too bad. Very much on the quiet side out there, so definitely some good news on that. Check out my forecast tomorrow morning with Bob and Josh, Monday through Thursday on Talkback Live on AM 730 and 1600. And, of course, I'll be on throughout the rest of the weekend on Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3 on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network stations. All right, one more check of the forecast. Again, pretty chilly for tomorrow for the kids heading off for the school bus stop. Numbers going back into the lower 40s. Plenty of sunshine throughout the rest of the day. No rain protection needed tomorrow. That looks pretty good. But again, Thursday and Friday morning definitely will needs the possibility of, again, some more rain protection out there for that. And again, that could change over the next several days. So keep it tuned to this forecast by staying tuned to the weather experts, and we'll keep you updated on that throughout the next several days. We'll have updates on the forecast, hopefully it should be 8.45 p.m. Sorry about that. Must be an old graphic on there. We'll have more on that coming up a little later. I'll have your forecast update tonight. We are on time tonight. Golf did not run over as the replay of the Masters took place uh, earlier, and we are on time for News Channel 3 at 10 later on this evening. Todd Demers has your complete forecast for tomorrow starting at 4.30 on Daybreak Monday. And, of course, don't want to forget Corey Ventura with Time Saver Traffic. Definitely want to tune in for everything on that. National Weather Service is still looking at uh, the damage from last night's severe weather over in extreme eastern Mississippi. And once we get a, a damage report update from them, we'll bring that to you on News Channel 3. Uh, again, some fatalities yesterday around Hamilton in uh, Mississippi and around the Mississippi-Alabama state line. So more information on that as we know it from the National Weather Service uh, as the surveys continue in that area. We'll have more again coming up tonight at 10, so stay tuned for more on that. Thanks for joining us for this evening. Hope everybody has a good and safe week coming up. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Stay tuned for much more with News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the week on air and online. Thanks for joining us.